The range of Mavic Air seems to be a hot potato. After it was known that DJI uses extended Wi-Fi instead of AccuSync to connect to the remote. Some worry this will limit uh, the range of Mavic Air, so I decided to find out and go out and test the maximum range. But before we get to that, let's roll that intro. Do you want to improve your drone footage, refine your video skills, learn about e-wheels, the future of commuting? Consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. DJI claims uh, that the maximum range is 2.5 miles or 4.2 kilometers. These numbers are of course only possible with full line of sight. On the map I found a perfect spot, a beach line of 4 to 5 kilometers where I could fly without obstructions. On one side it had forests so I was not obstructing privacy. This might sound funny to uh, some of you guys from the US, but it's actually not that easy around here. At the end of the stretch there's actually a nude beach, but I don't expect anybody to be out there because it's only three wrinkles cold, if you know what I mean. Let's see how it went. Temperature when the test was conducted was around 32 to 33 Fahrenheit with moderate headwind. That was powerful enough to trigger the high wind warnings. 32 Fahrenheit represents the lower limit of the recommended operating range set by DJI. This combined with moderate headwind will definitely put our flight time under pressure. I will not expect to reach the distances made by some of my other YouTube drone friends made under better conditions, but it will give you a picture of what exactly to expect in cold and windy conditions. When you do these tests you should always try and fly against the wind on your way out, so you have enough battery to make it home not fighting the wind. As mentioned DJI is not using AcuSync but extended Wi-Fi. The extended Wi-Fi has two modes, 2.4 and 5.8 GHz. Mavic Air switches automatically between these two frequencies depending on the current signal strength. For a range test I will always go for the 2.4 GHz as this frequency is much better for longer distances. 5.8 has been designed to work better around reflective surfaces. If you want to know how to switch between 2.4 and 5.8 then I've included some information in the end of this video to show you how. At this point the return to home kicked in around 3 kilometers after I lost the signal. I suspect this was because I lost clear line of sight. I had to go to the car to put on some gloves because my hands were starting to feel numb. I decided to cancel the return to home and do a turnaround and go for a small hill to get the full line of sight and see if I could push it even further out. Again around 3 kilometers, the low battery warning kicked in with the 49% remaining. This automatically enables return to home. You can ignore this warning but then you're not sure you will make it home. I'm not sure if this takes wind into consideration but I plan for that having the tailwind on the way home. As you can see DJI did the right thing by advising me to return home with the low battery warning. Learning from the first flight I did a second attempt. This time I went for the hill directly and used sport mode to get as fast as possible to the maximum distance. I knew this could bite me in the butt because the battery consumption is much bigger when flying in sport mode. Crossing 3000 meters, so now I was further out than the last attempt. 3200 meter, still no breakup in transmission. 3400 meter, signal was still present. Battery was draining fast at this point. I expected the low battery warning to kick in sooner as we were further away. Yes. It did at 55%. I reached a total of 3,666 meters before the Mavic Air started returning. I almost made it to the nude beach. It's the small shed that you see in the horizon. Back on the ground with 30% remaining. Reaching 3,666 meters or 2.25 miles is not bad under these windy conditions. It's not the 2.5 miles advertised by TGI, but uh, it should be sufficient for most users. Actually, I'm really impressed that the extended Wi-Fi can reach that far. I did a test on 5.8 GHz, but it was as expected not very successful, where I lost signal after only 700 meters. I know that the Everyday Dad did a successful 5.8 GHz range test, but this was made under more or less ideal conditions. So if you plan to go further out with your Mavic Air, I would not count on that frequency. In case you want to know how to switch between 2.4 and 5.8 GHz. This is pretty easy, you just go to the Wi-Fi menu and select custom. Scroll down to the bottom and select one of the channels with three digits. After the switch, restart the Wi-Fi and the Mavic Air is forced into 5.8 GHz. 
I will not recommend doing that, as the Mavic Air automatically switches between the channels and frequencies uh, where the, the signal is most stable. So unless you're having connection issues, you shouldn't touch that. If you decide to go for the Mavic Air, then I've included a link in the description below. This is an affiliate link, which means that I get a small commission uh, of your purchase. The cool part is the DJI pays uh, your cut, so the price will be the same for you. The money that I make this way, I will uh, spend uh, in buying new DJI gear to review here on the channel uh, to the benefit of all of us. By the way, did you see the review that I made of the Mavic Air? You can access the video by clicking this card. If you like this Mavic Air range test, then make sure to hit the like button below because this really helps me understand if you want more of this kind of content. Take care and see you on the next one.